Hi, Mom. Dinner, remember? Oh, I forgot. Hey, you're not dressing that way for me. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I've made other plans. Hey, don't worry about it. I can see you anytime. Come on out. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. You sure you don't mind? Not as long as there's food in the fridge. Hi. You look wonderful. Thank you. I, I forgot that I'd asked my son Chip for dinner tonight. Oh, well, uh, is that a problem? I mean... Come in. Hey, Mom. Saving these pork chops? Chip, this is John Benson. Hi, Chip. How are you? I guess we'd better go. You sure you'll be all right, Chip? Sure. Nice to meet you, Chip. Yeah. Chip didn't look exactly thrilled. Well, mothers aren't supposed to have dates. <laughs> I guess not, but it's something we're going to have to work out. Oh, not tonight, you're not. Come on. <laughs> Line is long and unbroken. What else do you see? Oh, that you're uh, very protective of your feelings. That you're lovely company. That you're lovely. Why do you look so sad? I'm not sad. More like happy, frightened. What of? I don't know. What can I do? <laughs> Just exactly what you've been doing. Mm. My taste in wine is exceeded only by my taste in women. It's a little sweet, but full body. Nice aroma. You lived here long? Mm-hmm. 
It's a lovely place. Thank you. I didn't know you played the guitar. Do you really care? told me you came in. Happy birthday. Can I take you to lunch later? Uh, I'm sorry, I have errands to run. Did you get my flowers? Yes, I did, thank you. They were beautiful. I gave them to a patient. What? It just didn't seem appropriate. Mary, what is going on? This is not the time or the place. Don't do this to me again. Come here. Come on. All right. Now, last night... Last night was lovely. Well, let me see if I understand you right. Last night was lovely. For both of us. And you want me to act like nothing's happened? We're at work, John. That doesn't close off my feelings for you or yours for me, does it? I have very warm feelings for you. But we just had one evening, and, and, and now you're acting as if you don't care if everyone in the hospital knows about it. As if it were some kind of a commitment or something. It wasn't a commitment, it was a compliment. Last night was very special. You made me feel so wanted. You are wanted. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's wonderful. I just need time to put it into perspective, to, to see where it fits in my life, really and truly. Which means, what will people think? No. Which means, what am I about right now? Who am I? And what about your feelings? They just go back into cold storage? I didn't say that. You made me realize that they still exist. I'm glad I was of service. Hi. Hi. You're doing much better. Oh, thanks. I was hoping to find you here. I, uh, I wanted to... What I'm trying to do is apologize. I had no right to talk to you the way I did. I was wrong. No, you're absolutely right. Trouble is, I was right, too. I know. I didn't mean to press you the way I did. I... Oh, maybe I did. I don't know. This isn't coming out right. I don't have any regrets. Neither do I. Maybe we could um, give it another try. Start over? Start from here or something? No, I... Mary, I really... I really like you. I'm sorry, John. It just wouldn't work out. We're, we're too different. I have a lot of responsibilities. There's working together at the hospital every day. We're just too different. It wouldn't work out. Um, we're just too different. Wouldn't work out. I guess we are. I guess we're, uh, we're just too different. Uh, so what? what's your decision? I just told you. No, it sounded like a definite maybe to me. I don't believe you. Does that mean yes? No. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Good, I'll take maybe. Come on. Uh, I'll race you out to the street. What do you say? You're on. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> 